Hello guys, good morning. Welcome back with me, Sabina Febrin. So in this video, I would like to review an article entitled and integrating culture into ELT classes, what, why, and how. So the author of this article are Ozlem Karaga Tuna and Salim Razi from Turkey. And this article also published in, the 2000 and, in 2016 by Elsevier Publisher. The article basically investigates how pre-surface and in-surface foreign language teacher consider the integration of the culture into language teaching. That's why I highly recommend it for you to read this article because from this article you can learn a lot of the things, you can get a lot of information and the point plus of this article, there are methodology. To collecting data, the other not only use one method, but they use two methods in the same time. There are quantitative method and the qualitative method. Quantitative methods dealing with something that is in real or empirical to look for the relationship between each variable. The more respondents, the highest the value of data representation. Meanwhile, qualitative data dealing with the things that are can be seen or visible, but they will explore more deep about the problem. The first data collection is done by the quantitative methods and for the subjects there are total 43 EFL teacher and 75 students from ELT department participate in this in this quantitative part of the study. And there are also 45 items under 9 category in the inventory of the cultural component that is used to collect quantitative data. The name category are intellectual value, lifestyle, behavior, media, and then artistic value, family, minor and major value, and the last one is the formal value. And the other item you can see in here, or I will put it in the description box. After collecting data by the quantitative method, the other collecting data by the qualitative method, they were interviewing or respondent were chosen randomly and the questions are asked related to the related to the purpose of the article and then formulated to answer the research question. If you want to know the research question, I will put the description box. So it was a good choice for you if you want to combine these two methods such as quantitative and qualitative method because each other has these advantages and advantages and advantages. The use of these two methods will be a point plus because from these two methods will be produced a data more credible. Not only in the methodology, you can also see the point plus in this article at the finding part which is very clear and easy to understand. The first one is related to the questions. Once, all pre-service teachers show that teaching curriculum must include cultural element. Three people in the interview stated that Cultural and language can be separated because it is not possible to learn foreign language without dealing with the culture itself. During the interview, during the interview session, press service teacher suggested some foreign language activity in line with the figure obtained for the quantitative data collection methods in which the ninth category get the higher main values. They indicate that there is a need for cultural in the learning foreign language. Second ones of the finding part which is related to the question two, not much different from the pre service teacher because in service teacher also agree that will there must be a cultural element in this curriculum teaching foreign language. In the interview session they agreed that Culture is a supporter of foreign language learning where ELT students should be know what they have to eat, what the people around them like, what their activity, and what the value that they have. In the interview sessions, they also give reason why culture is important because it will be more difficult to understand a foreign language if you didn't know the background of the culture itself. In service, teacher to, in, service, in service teacher 
thought that integrating culture right in cultural into the teachings foreign language should be pay attention to the teaching media such as the book videos can be in form of the drama or the film and the music related to the daily activities around them from those data i said earlier it can be concluded that pre and in service teacher have the same views where both agree that in incorporating cultural element into curriculum foreign language teachings is appropriate there is there is no significant difference in the realizations to quantitative data however teacher may give a priority to the culture component they receive the reality their relative higher main score such as related to the lifestyle and the family here i give an example of how important culture is in language teaching just say you will learn korean where you want to say my mother is beautiful you will say in korean ne ommanen ye poyo that has been confirmed that you are wrong even though ne means self ownership but Koreans always use uri which mean ours in English. So the correct one is uri omanen ye poyo. Uri is not only just a language but cultural norms. Therefore, if you don't learn culture, you will have dif difficulty to learn the language. So in the last part, I would like to give my whole opinion to the article. Like what I said before in the in the opening part, I highly recommend it for you, especially for foreign language teachings, to read this article because it has a credible data since the other used two methods, qualitative and quantitative methods, so it can be used as strong evidence to justify his research. I mean, so just to justify their research. This article also easy to understand, especially for you who are not a native speaker like me because the article used a simple word that also we often use the word in the daily life. Not only that, although this article only has eight, only has eight pages, but they put and explain the important element in the clear and conscious way. So it can be great if you use this article to be your references to make a script or another things. So, in a nutshell, I would like to say this article is worth to be published and worth to be read. So, okay, I think it's all for today. I'm so sorry if there were a lot of mistakes because it's my first time to reviewing an article. I hope you can understand it and thank you. See you in the next video.